to send a picture to my son Cohen and his uh, cousin Riley, who are big VR players. It's going to be incredible as the LFA continues to stage events, looking for the goal of 28 this year. We'll scan the QR code for the latest odds from Bet Online. Bantam weights up next, and another big favor coming in. The former University of Wyoming wrestler Bryce Meredith comes in at minus 2,000 and plus 1,000 on the underdog Nathan Fought. Once again, for the fighter introductions, let's go inside the LFA Octagon to Mike Kendall. Ladies and gentlemen, we move now to the LFA 141 co-main event of the evening. Please welcome, making his way to the octagon, Nathan Fott. After returning to MMA for the first time in over eight years back in February, Jackson Winks and Nathan Fott makes the jump to the pros here at LFA 141. Pro debut after a 6-0 amateur career from Ohio, now lives and trains in Albuquerque. He said, I needed to, if I was gonna do this and be serious about it, I had to go to the top gym. And that's exactly what he did going down to Jackson Winks MMA Academy. You know, Michael, he was very open about leaving everything behind in Ohio. You know, he had a long layoff, and, you know, we asked him about it, and he said, you know, I, listen, I made some bad mistakes in my life. As an 18-year-old, I was incarcerated for a time, and then uh, again, couldn't get out of that world. Um, but when he found mixed martial arts, it pretty much turned his life around it. He really has a healthy lifestyle now. Yeah, and he knows at this stage in his life at 38 years old, he wants to go on. He wants to go on and give himself the best shot at winning some good fights. And he loves the challenge that Bryce Meredith brings to the table. Not a lot of people are answering that phone call, no. Ron. When, when, when Mark Beery calls and says, you want to fight? fight Bryce Meredith. A lot of people probably hang up, so he loves the challenge, and he's been working on his ground game, and he's doing all the right things to give himself a shot at winning this fight, so I like the ambitious attitude of him wanting to embrace this challenge of fighting such a decorated wrestler and just going all in in the late stages of what would be the normal age range for a fighter to compete. He's like, I'm going all in. I want to give this a shot, and I'm going to take on the best dang fighter I can get my hands on. Now is the opponent making his way to the octagon, Bryce Meredith. With two TKO wins to begin his pro MMA career, former University of Wyoming wrestler Bryce Meredith looks to continue his winning ways tonight. Three-time All-American wrestler at Y.O., two-time NCAA National Championship runner-up. That was in 2016 and 2018. 100% finishing rates. Third ever MMA fight, Michael. He never fought as an amateur. No, he never fought as an amateur, and he turned pro right away. And really, the second he turned pro, I've, I've called his first two fights, Ron, and he just showed he's not just a wrestler. I mean, he's, he showed that he's a striker in his first fight. He came out, showed a lot of good movements, throwing kicks, changing stances, landing devastating shots. And in his second fight, that's when he really started to mix the wrestling in and blend it in with his striking. And he wants to make it to the next level. He wants to be a high-level MMA fighter. This guy has wrestled in some of the grandest stages that any am amateur wrestler could get to and as a fighter you can see he's he has a thirst to, 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 to absorb as much knowledge as he can he looks polished on the feet in his very first fight so i'm really excited to see how he approaches this one ron because the first fight it looked like he wanted to go out there just get a fast knockout the second fight it looked like he wanted to get some octagon time kind of looked like a cat playing with his food kind of dragging the guy through the fight this fight he says he wants to go out there put this guy away quick so i'm interested to see which bryce meredith we see tonight here are the numbers and the tail of the tape powered by Bet Online. Young Gun Meredith, 27 years old, and the veteran fought is 11 years older. You see the big number there, fought. Missed weight by four and a half pounds, will forfeit a percentage of his purse. Fought will have, though, a two inch reach advantage. Let's get the official fighter introductions from Mike Kendall. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the LFA Bantamweight division. Brought to you tonight by Bet Online, the official online sports book of the LFA. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This freestyle wrestler stands five foot nine, weight in 139.8 pounds. Tonight, he's making his professional debut. Representing Jackson Wink MMA and fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Nathan, the feature fight. His opponent across the octagon, fighting out of the red corner, is a wrestler standing five foot nine, weighing in 135.6 pounds. He holds a professional record, two wins, zero defeats, with both of those wins coming by way of knockout. Representing the MMA lab and fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, by way of Cheyenne, Wyoming, Bryce Misfit Meredith. The referee is Bobby Wellbucker. All right, gentlemen, we've been through the rules in the back. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch them up if you want. Do not blink. Bryce Meredith says he wants to make quick work of Nathan Fought. Meredith is the favorite coming in, according to Bet Online. The underdog Nathan Fought, 38 years old, making his LFA and pro debut tonight. And we also, I mean, these two train at the two of the top gyms in the country, Jackson Wink and the MMA Lab. I think Bryce might have got caught with a punch there. It's hard to see. He definitely went down, Michael. Yeah, he kind of came out swinging, though. He came out firing kicks right away. Well, and this is what got happened in his debut, where he ate a shot early Yeah, on. he just rocked. He got a little too cute with it and changed stances too close and got caught with a straight punch, but there's no better way to get tested in your first fight. Well, a veteran fought, might be making his pro debut, but long amateur career, and now the wrestler does what he does. And that's a smart move. That's a smart move. I mean, things are getting a little too chaotic on the feet. I know he probably wants to display his striking. Most wrestlers really fall in love with their hands when they transition to MMA. But if you get caught with the punch, just quit messing around. Go to your bread and go to your bread and butter. Get to your wrestling, and that's where he's at now. I like how he's isolating the right leg of Nathan Fought. He's got it trapped between his legs, looking to trap the far ankle, stepping across, and he's looking to go to the back. When you get a wrestler so on your back with the hooks in, I mean, it's it, it's almost, I'd rather almost get punched in the face than have a wrestler <laughs> strap on a wrestling style ride, get the legs in, start trapping your wrists and weighing on you. I mean, it can be exhausting. Bryce Meredith has John Crouch in his corner, and Nathan Fott has Mike Winklejohn helping him out tonight. And Two of the best coaches in the business. Nathan Fott looking to isolate a Kimura. His feet are in the right position. He's looking to switch his legs and just get to his feet. He's doing the right thing right now. The worst thing that he could do against Bryce Meredith is concede a position. If he was to sit to a guard or just accept that, you know, that Bryce is going for the takedown and maybe look to try to get a sweep, that'd be the worst thing he could do. The best thing he could do is to stay moving. Keep Bryce moving. Don't let him settle into any positions. Riding the back of Nathan Vaught. Just taking his time is Bryce Meredith. Oh, he might have the net. He's fishing for that green and control. Patient. Patience is key for him right now. Patience is key. He got caught with that shot early in the round. Clear the cobwebs, start controlling some positions, get your wits about you. Start controlling this guy and softening him up to where he's going to turn in and give you the position that you're looking for. Plenty of time to operate. Make sure you are following the LFA on all social media platforms at LFA Fighting for fight updates and new episodes of Inside LFA. Oh, and now he's got the choke in that looks extremely tight. Oh, but Nathan fought it off. No pun intended. Oh, well done, sir. <laughs> I've Waiting really, for that one. I haven't really hit any puns yet tonight. Yeah, you're, that's, you're one for one, man. Well, these guys keep, these, these, guys, these, these, these fights keep ending so fast, I can't get, get the ball rolling. Yeah, two finishes, first round, and one decision. LFA 141 action here on UFC Fight Pass and from Vail, Colorado. Nathan doing a good job going two on one with Bryce's right arm. 
Trying to control his choking hand. Very smart move. Trying to wall walk his way back to his feet, and he does, but finds himself getting his neck cranked on again. He might have it this time, Ron. Very tight choke. Plenty of time. Just over a minute. Wow. Again, he, he lets it go. This time he pushed the elbow off his head, but now Bryce is in body triangle. And that's got to be, that's got to feel uncomfortable being, being Nathan fought on bottom. Again, your body const just constricted like that. And uh, Meredith getting some shots through the guard, too. And pulls him back into his world. If I'm Nathan Fott, I'm not trying to punch both my opponents on my back. I'm trying to control hands, trying to get my hips to one side, scrape my shoulder blades, get to the feet. Really, essentially, if you start punching the guy behind you, you're just giving him an opening to snatch your neck and get that rear naked choke finish. And like, Bryce might have right here. There it is! There's the tap! Walk-off submission! Bryce Meredith remains undefeated! His first submission victory as a pro for the former University of Wyoming wrestler. Third straight win here in the LFA. Game effort, though, from Nathan Fott. All right. Made, making his pro debut. And, you know, give him credit for taking this fight, as you were talking about, Michael. A lot of people turn down fights against Bryce Meredith, the young 27-year-old from Cheyenne. And yeah, now you see why. Yeah, and he has such an advantage with those, with those wrestling accolades. But you can see the fight kind of starts furious and fast. Bryce gets caught with the body kick, and it's a spinning back fist from Nathan Fott, and he gets, not only does that, he lands the left yeah. hook on the follow through, definitely rattles Bryce Meredith. You see here, then Bryce drops the double, and this is when he just takes him down into his world, starts controlling the wrestling, and right here, you can see he switches to that rear naked choke finish, pummels his hands inside, gets that palm to palm grip, starts to constrict on that rear naked choke, and then he punches that left hand behind the head, and that's all she wrote. Just a sensational submission win for Bryce Misfit Meredith. The win streak continues for 27-year-old Bryce Meredith. Improves to 3-0 professionally and here in the LFA Octagon. Let's now get the official time. Here's Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Bobby Wambacher calls a stop to this fight. Four minutes, 36 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by tap out in a rear naked choke, Bryce Misfit Meredith. Now three and O, oh, and Bryce Meredith is with Michael Chiesa for his post fight interview. I'm here with the winner, Bryce Meredith. Bryce. You know, you seem a little distraught. You just got your hand raised. You, you, you seem a little beside yourself. Is this not the, the performance that you were looking for? Uh, just on my feet, I felt super, like, not there for a second. You know, he poked me in the eye or I got hit, whatever, which one it was. And he was just a long, open stance. I didn't know if he was a southpaw. So it just kind of came out and surprised me. So I was just fucking mad about that. But other than that, it's good, you know. I wanted to come out here and just get a submission. I really did. If I can let my hands go, good. But I wanted to win it by submission too, rather than just TKO and punching my way through a fight. I mean, did it surprise you that he was able to kind of catch you with that shot early on? Because I saw you coming out, firing with the kick early, and it, was this, it wasn't the spinning back, because he kind of spun through on the left hook. Was that, yeah. that something that you didn't think that he'd yeah. be able to get off on you? Yeah, I just didn't really see it. Like, I caught his kick, and then he just spun or whatever, I think is what happened. And you know, you get hit with shit, but it was fun, man. Hey, I love Colorado. I love all you guys. Colorado is my second home, all right? I grew up wrestling here my entire life. So without Colorado, I would not be anything. So I love you guys, man. This is just the beginning. This shit is a fun job. You get to feel all the feelings. So for all you people, go out and train. Go do something that you can feel some emotion about, because that's what life's all about. Life gets really gray, really quick. And if you guys go put yourself in front of fear, cool shit happens. You're one enlightening cat. Give it up for the missing Bryce Meredith. Cool stuff does happen. 
especially when you are Bryce Meredith dominating as he turned pro. Such a great college wrestler and now getting it done here in the LFA. He is with the team, Randy and John, representing the MMA lab. We have had some of the top performers here and, uh, and some of the top coaches here as well as LFA 141.